You're watching TVC Breakfast. Now, with about 72 hours left, political parties are racing against time to submit the names of the running mates of their flag bearers to the Independent National Electoral Commission. Though Nigerians are waiting with bated breath to know who occupy these slots, they have played up certain key issues which they say should determine the choice of a party's decision. They believe that for the sake of justice, equity and fairness, religion and ethnicity must be considered to bring the needed balance in our democracy. Joining us to discuss this is Harvard Certified Leadership Strategist and Consultant, Dr. John Ekundaya, joining us on the uh, phone right now, virtually. Dr. Ekundaya, good morning. It's good to have you join us. Uh, good morning, Mike. Thank you. Great. All right. Uh, of course, I'm here with uh, uh, Uncle Sam Omashe, and together we will be speaking to you. Okay. Okay. Now, I, I believe you've been following the, the development and what's going on right now. All political parties have less than 72 hours to uh, come up with the names of their running mates and submit to INEC accordingly. Uh, I, I know, too, that uh, there are lots of controversies already regarding who should be running mates to the PDP, to the APC, all their candidates and all of the other ones. But as it is right now, what is coming up is the Muslim-Muslim ticket or the ethnicity and all of those uh, issues that uh, others feel that they shouldn't be the crux of the matter. But what do you make of all the calls anyway? Hello. What do you make of the calls for the Muslim Muslim ticket or the Muslim Christian ticket or the Christian Muslim ticket or the Christian Christian ticket that people are talking about? Yeah, well, my, my view is this my standard take, it's about Nigeria, really. Uh, it's unfortunate that Nigeria is so polarized, uh, you know, on religious lines when it comes to politics. Uh, when we get to the market, we, we, we are not discriminatory about who says what or who, uh, who am I from. But when it comes to politics, it's just unfortunate that we look at, are you a Christian? Are you a Muslim? Are you a Yoruba? Are you a Fulani? Are you a Ethiopian? Are you a Pope? Which is very unfortunate. To me, we should look at the antecedents of people fine or aspiring for an office. When it comes to the issue of uh, you know, the, the vice presidential, who is that going to be the vice presidential candidate? Uh, to me, we should actually uh, minimize the issue of uh, religion coming in. Uh, for me, personally, let me just say this. Uh, apart from the vice president uh, of uh, uh, when uh, uh, General Lucio Papatojo was there, Shibu Lucio Papatojo as president, when Atiku was vice president, that he had a lot on the table. Right from the time, Amandi Sabo, at the time even your Jonathan when he was vice president, Amandi Sabo, and even the incumbent vice president, I have not seen the weight they bring in politically. That's me personally talking my own perspective. So the rule I cry about who is number two, who is I know Muslim, Muslim, Christian, Muslim, really should not be an issue, you know. But let me just say this that the foremost presidential candidate uh, in PDP, in APC, especially APC now, you know, uh Ashwajibola met, you know, to actually, you know, meet with Khan. So, the Eastern Association of Nigeria the leaders, and even the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria leaders, as we well, sit down with them, I believe there could be a negotiation. I believe there could be a negotiation, a win-win arrangement. That's what it's called in Singapore. You know, in my year Singapore, you know, Asia, if it's my man, we tell you a win-win situation. You know, there could be a win-win situation of the Senate, President, and the House of Rep, uh, Speaker. You know, be seated to... Uh, 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 to the Christian uh, faith at this time, because it is important. The big picture is for APC to win. It's not about emotion. It's not about moral argument or pedestrian argument. It's about APC winning. It's about the party winning. Once we play to the arts of emotion, you know, everybody tries something like that. They can do nothing. And of course, they prepare for the one. For the one, if people will still look at antecedents, 
you know, and again, coming back to the candidacy of Ashura Jibola, you know, when it was in this country, everybody knew the wife is a Christian, it's even not seen as a pastor in RCCG, that is that. And he has an open mind when it comes to religion. He instituted the third giving service, where pastor, uh, in which pastor he had able, you know, uh, preaches almost every year, an area of every year, you know, and it's still ongoing, it's still continuing. So, it, 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 we should not really bring religion to this thing. We should rather bring in issues, issues of progress, issues about the big, we should look at the big picture. That is my perspective on this issue. Thank you. All right. Yes, um, Mr. Akunda, this is Sam um, yes. I wonder how this issue of Muslim Muslim ticket came into Nigerian conversation. It was not so from the beginning. Uh, even though in times of uh, military uh, leadership in this country, it was not so. When um, uh, Gowan was uh, number one, we had Admiral Wayne, we had David Ejo. We were all Christians. Even when in the first coming of Buhari, he was assisted by another Fulani man like himself, although Idiagmo um, uh, uh, was Yoruba. Why this uh, idea of being tendentious, trying to look at ourselves from religious lenses, where there are so many things that make up our, our people uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of where we belong? In uh, groups, in uh, ideology, in in business and even in associations. Yeah, uh, Mr. Mache, I will, I, will, I will reply to that by saying the context of the past when we had MQ Abiola and King Jibbe ticket. That context is presently uh, not relevant here because of so much insecurity that have. Uh, you know, really come into play in our national uh, our politics, especially the social economic uh, uh, situation we have with us now. So much insecurity, and then uh, with all these Boko uh, Haram, ISWAP issues, uh, and this issue, it has really played up a lot of uh, uh, religiosity into our uh, political life, which ought not to be so. You see, but like I was saying previously, this has not impacted our economic space. I mean, you know, we, we are having cows from the north. We are eating the cow in the south. You know, people are bringing the other things we are carrying from the south, from the port. We are taking it to the north. Nobody is saying this is Yoruba something. You know, nobody is saying this is Hula and you are something. You know, our political life also should be like this. And this will be a kind of agenda for whoever becomes Nigeria president. Come May 29. 2023. You see, I remember when I lived in Singapore, one of the prime ministers at a particular time discovered that the major uh, ethnic tribes making, the, making up the nation, the Chinese Singaporeans, the Indian Singaporeans, the Malay Singaporeans, they were, they, 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 they were living in certain regions and they refused to mix with one another. And what did he do? He made sure that he started building housing ethics in every locality. And then when it comes to allocating, it will mix the tribe together. So by force, you live together. Today, one of the things in Singapore is social cohesion. You know, when you come to the office, you leave your tribe alone. You leave, you even leave your religion alone. If you come to the office to work as a Singaporean, when you get to your home, you practice your religion. And that's what it's supposed to be. And you see the nation going forward. Nobody is asking you, are you a Buddhist? Nobody is asking, are you, are you an Indian? Nobody is asking, are you a Christian? If I, you see Buddhists asking Elijah in Singapore, quote me, asking Sam, I was chatting with somebody like that. Yeah, but Elijah, prophet, say, no, John, I am not a Christian. I, Elijah, you have, you have people behind him, Mary, and they are not Christian. They are Hindu, they are Buddhists. You see, they just like the name Mary. You see, that is it. Move themselves together. They are, we should get to that extent. In a, if not, we need a leader to unite us. To make us quote, and I believe as sure as you are you know, we found that time because in Lagos State, you know, well, it is not on, on religious line. You can see when it was governor there for eight years, you know, I'm not sure of people coming together, irrespective of your faith, even irrespective of, of your tribe, working together and moving Lagos forward. And the taxes are there. 
That's my take on that. Mm. All right. <clears throat> We're joining us right now in the studio. We'll, we'll certainly come back to you, uh, Dr. Ekundaya. Joining us also to okay. talk about this is Razak Ulukoba, a public affairs analyst here. Nice to have you join us. Thank you, Mike. Good morning. It's only why. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, good morning, good, sir. You're, you're yeah, welcome. Okay. Now, the, the, this Muslim, Muslim ticket everyone is talking about, so many people are talking about now. Of course, those who understand will say, let's move beyond all of that. Now, if you... The big Ashwaju, for instance, his wife is a pastor. So the issue of religion is already balanced from within the home. <laughs> if you pick Atiku, for instance, <laughs> his wife, he, has, he is married from different parts of the country, from southern part of the country. He has an Igbo wife, he has a Yoruba wife, and all of that. The issue of ethnicity is already balanced one way or the other. So, but when it comes to this national, you know, you know crisscrossing politics, you know, vice president has to be this, religion has to be balanced, what do you make of that, though? Should we see this as our reality, or we're still living in denial of, of ideals? Well, well, thank you very much, Mike. Uh, well, moral is, import is important, mm -hmm. but when it comes to election, ballot is the deciding factor. It's the recording decimal. And that is what I think has informed PDP to judicial zoning. APC2 should, of course, consider interests of other people, too. But the current decimal in their game plan is how to win the election. No. Whatever all of us are saying, uh, no, we will not agree with you. It is not a Muslim Christian ticket. No. In their drawing board, what first them election should be paramount to them? It's going to go to be Muslim Christian ticket. It's going to be Muslim Muslim ticket. And looking at what is on ground, Atiku is a hard nut to crack. If you listen to what, what Atiku has done, I know he can't pick another Muslim again. Yes, for PDP, they have been able to secure the North by bringing Atiku out. So it's natural for him to say that let me look for our Christian guys mm. from the so South. It's easier so, for Atiku. So it's easier for Atiku now. Okay. But for our APC now, they should be careful not to fall into this public perception that is going on right now. now. Because public opinion at times can be misleading. If you look at the Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Scottish uh, exit of uh, the public opinion is that Scotland, Scottish will go. But when the vote was casted, the people who live in Britain said that we are not living here, all this noise. Are done. So, important thing now at the moment for APC is how do, how, how do we win this election? And for the not to have championed the agenda, Zuni. their interest is important too. They are the champions of power shift. They agree that on moral rights, there's a need for power to shift to the south. And a payback time is when you now say that uh, if you have agreed to, you must be part of the power process too. You have to join us. And we all know what gives you vote in the north. I have conviction that uh, whoever party that comes to power will take the two regions serious. Even if it's going to be 80 states, 80 states. If it's going to be Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. If it's going to be Buddhism, Buddhism. If it's going to be Ifa follower or Ifa followers, I know that nobody will toy with religion matter in this country. Either your faith or if it is not your faith. Because it's important. So, I, I, I have a belief that uh, even if it's a Muslim, Muslim ticket, that may even be the time that um, the Christian don't may, may prosper most. Because they will be such lies that uh, let's see how they go. Let's see what Muslim Muslim, let's see what, how, how they're going to perform. So, uh, like I've said, the paramount thing is how do, how, how do we win this election? So, the moment APC, I mean PDP, has gone out of the basic agreement, which is, which is not the thing, of agreeing to zone, I know that a lot of things will be un done unconventionally too. And part of, part of it is a likelihood of a Muslim Muslim ticket. Because PDP said that uh, we just want to get back to power. Mm. So the answer to what is on ground to the APC will be giving people that let's get to power. Whether you are whether Christians are important, so let's get to power and see what we are going to do to Christian hood. Let's see how we are going to take care of you. Let's see how we are going to prepare, protect your village. Let's see how we are going to ensure that uh, your closeness to Christ, your closeness to God, will be worked on when we get to power. And it's important to begin to talk like that. If it is going to be a Muslim, I just, I just like what everyone have said that uh, if you look at, of course, we must look at good, good presidents. 
how we have prospered between CC and nineteen must be look at that. But also look at how where we are, where we are coming from. Buhari and Idiagbon. Idiagbon is a full animal from Milani. Buhari is also a full animal. But nobody remembers all that. Just give us, we just want a change. <laughs> and when, uh, even in Lagos too, look at Lagos too, Fashola and uh, uh, Tinobu. Back to back, they were Muslims. Back to back, they were Muslims. And that's eight years. Marwa also was eight, 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 yeah. eight years. They got, yes, <laughs> Marwa, that, that was 16 Six years. years. <laughs> Marwa was also, also Muslim too. And I think the guy the, the crowd that came before Marwa only. Uh, our man, our Shuma, mm. was only a Christian. Rajira Saki was a Muslim. Rajira Saki. So all this area of people exactly. were Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. With just a dot That's of... That's if uh, If you take it back, back, back... So we just, we just had a dot of a Christian participation mm. of $10 and um, uh, the Oshuma, the Oshuma uh, military man that became a... Oyinola. Oyinola. So that, that, and we didn't remember... Oh, there was on Nobody the thought about Nobody them about it. Until, <laughs> you, until you got to a point when people were looking for a soft spot to, to carry a uh, uh, ballot and, and vote. So, at the moment, it's... In the case of Abiola, it was the same thing. Yeah, it's, 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 it's time we begin to look at universal standards. And universal standard is a uh, uh, performance. Who is going to perform? When, at the beginning, when I you had the, 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 that, that challenge, some of us were forced to start reflecting out I didn't hear about Siwaju until 1992, when I was in detention, as a student leader. They said one senator called uh, me to Nubu, and until I met him in 1994, that, oh, this is a senator, I swear you had that. So, and from that time up until he said I wants to become, I look at his lifetime, his, the great sacrifice he has uh, uh, gone through. I am convinced beyond reasonable doubt that it's not a really big bigotry. I am convinced beyond reasonable doubt that uh, when he becomes the president of Nigeria, both parties will laugh. All parties, not both parties, all parties will laugh. Same thing for Atikutu, because I know that as a vice president to Abbasanjo, the work crisis he had with Abbasanjo, it's not on Abbasanjo goes to church when we are having a meeting. It's not whether Atikutu is going to Friday when we are having a meeting. It's not, it's not, there's no, there's no question about the job in, in, in it. And if we have to forge ahead, this yoke must be broken. The mm. yoke of acceding to black mix. When it's, it's, it's time for us to take risk and important decision in our life. It's time we, we begin to look away from it. Mike, we have related very, very well. Mm. But suddenly, you have, somebody will now say you are from Benue. The, the, the moment you <laughs> <I> want to... <laughs> <laughs> you suddenly, I'm a Yoruba man. I have fought Yoruba battles mm. all the days of my life. But if somebody says, tell me that, I said, you are from North Central. Don't be talking about Yoruba. <laughs> you, should, yeah, you are from North Central. So... These are uh, 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 traps mm. that political uh, 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 reactionaries mm. set for us, and we must not enter it. The moment, the, because the, the, the wind of crisis that we have engulfed in Nigeria, the way it disappeared, is a miracle. Mm. Thinking that, okay, PDP, no, no, no. So, that moment, the moment Lawan emerged, the moment they were, if you see the, the all the debates that were going on social media, if you see, so it's beginning to look at well, something is wrong with Nigeria. Something's about to happen. Then it only does that, and we should allow that tension to filter away like that. Let's just do the need to. Let's go to intuition. Um, I has been talking about okay, state police. Then I you is also a master of some changes. He promised us fifteen percent. Increase in the uh, uh, power uh, power generation, IGR increase, uh, decentralize the police. Then let him begin to talk to us. How do you intend to achieve that? That should be what you occupy our mind now. It's not whether you come from somewhere. It's not to rule Nigeria. They didn't they, they didn't write it in the Bible or in the Quran. Mm. To rule Nigeria, it's a universal standard that's set by uh, people living what in the contemporary times. So it's political book of today. That you are going to obey to rule Nigeria. Is that what is in the Quran? I've read about 42 religions. There's basically no difference. There's no way in the religion book I've read, Hare Krishna, we are used in, in Shintoism, Buddhism. Have, there's no way that's fundamental difference from each other. So if we are gathered by all these books, we are fine with Christian Christian. We are fine with Muslim Muslim. We are fine with uh, Ifa Ifa. So just let's be guided by 
the books of, if you want to attain greatness in the world, this is the part you are going to do. Mm. And that is what should be telling all the contestants now that this is the direction we want you to go. This is what we intend you to uh, achieve. And if you do that, I have a conviction that uh, in one, two, three years, we'll be shocked. Because INEC has registered over 80 million people. The highest political consciousness of our life is now. The rate at which people go after their PVC now is shocking to me. Hmm. I was shocked <laughs> on social media when the pastor said that you can't enter church today. No PVC. <laughs> I saw that. The was, uh, which was an uh, abuse of, 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 mm. of platform. You see, I, saw, I, saw that, see, I saw that video when you want to, was, when you uh, when you when you want an to, abuse of the holy order when you <laughs> want to repair your society the change must begin with all of us yeah but and that's what the pastor is doing abuse, that's what the pastor is doing yeah but but the issue there is one would say one would say one would say of course system, you can persuade the people you can persuade to, the people but yeah. when you say if you don't have when, the PC, when you can't worship church, you can't come into when the interfering with the right, uh, the right to worship it, 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 yeah, my brother, yeah. the moment this the, the level we are in nigeria today mm. we should compare it to level where other countries in the world are in china today misappropriation of funds is not embezzlement misappropriation of fund is that penalty buy pencil and you buy a design it is penalty that is to tell you that then there must be no music there are desperate measures that we must take to come out of where we are today if i'm asked not to come to most because of pvc my brother it is important because the danger of faith is that we, be, we keep choosing wrong people mm. that will destroy our faith uh, but, but well, how about the 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 of him no 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 we are in the hold on we are in a democracy we are in a democracy and it's not by coercion you have a right don't start you have a right hold on democratic rules hold on hold on hold on hold on you have a right not to use your right yes so you cannot compel me to eat a mala, yes, because I want to eat pandedia. But that is the pandedia who put you. No, you can't uh, decide for me. If you can't decide for me, if it's your point, but you can't decide for me. You are being an autocrat. If you are being a democrat, you know, no, 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 no. You are not men. Okay, okay, look at the Okada ban. I have a right to do this. Okada ban is based is based on. Popular, mm, popular, popular anger, uh, and which have been support yes. from the one. Yeah, this is the kind of argument people were pushing at the beginning that there's a freedom of business. There's a freedom. but when you go to a point when you have become an embarrassment, you have become a cog in the wheel of the of the society. Why will not you have a PVC? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You have a right, 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 right not to do this. Yeah. And 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 let's the other issues. Yes, let's bring let's bring Dr. Kundayo. Of course, Dr. Kundayo. Even bring the other to hold on. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> Doctor Kundayo, are you hearing me? Yes. Is it I even not? Uh, is it not even an irony that some people who are in the south are trying to determine for the north the kind of person that should be picked? I wonder. Who. As representative, <laughs> I wonder. Who. Is it not an irony? I wonder. Who. <laughs> <laughs> that is. That's uh, actually. In perspective to consider, uh, really, because in this discourse, uh, because most people in the South know this, they are very loud on the social media, in the newspapers. But on the day of the election, I've said it in my column in the nation newspaper, the insights are a problem because most of them not participate in the electoral process. They don't follow it or they don't even participate to vote. Look at the last election, 2019. South State brought me as a researcher. Had the highest turnout in the presidential election. Look at people in Kaduna State. Governor Rufai was at his polling booth. There was a kind of uh, technical hit, you know, that the INEC encounter. He waited there. Live television was watching. He waited for about two hours. He did not go back to Gomeha. He voted. Look at many people that took out in the north. Compare with the south. Even Lagos. So we should look at the big picture like Olokoba said. And, uh, you know, in this particular issue, uh, the, the people in the north, politically, they are that we in the South, whether we want to argue 
I would not want to argue that they are more politically educated and enlightened. And they cannot see somebody wearing a very gun on the ballot or somebody wearing a pattern on the ballot. Not all of them are educated and speaking BB grammar. Okay, you know, Mr. Sam or Michael, yeah, or like Mike or look over my test. They are put off. I live among them before. So that is why there is the APC need to get it right and not about the noise that are on on the social media now. But what will make the party to win and to move the party forward? And no Nigerians have nothing to fear. Let me add it. Because Ashura Jibola Bet, you know, both is not somebody that play up religious uh, uh, semantic or whatever. It's not that. It's somebody who believes in life. That's why to grow the economy of Lagos State will now become the fifth largest economy in Africa. If to say Lagos State is a Nigeria uh, is, a, is a country, you know, that's how far he has been the economy. And we use the people. Whether you are in Go, whether you are uh, Awusa, whether you are from Delta, anywhere, even to the current government of uh, Baba Jide Ocean, you will see an array of Nigerians working together to move Lagos forward. Mm. Now, generating an uh, idea of possibly 50 billion per month. From that 600 million uh, 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 naira per month, that should you left it, uh, that, I mean, I, I, I started. And then living in the, uh, there, maybe a starting of 15 billion to uh, BRF, BRF to, uh, from, from BRF to Ambody, and then someone. So, all was done by people, not because they were created or boosting or you know, or full and you know, it So, uh, as well as you will have met with somebody who has a large heart, a gracious heart, to bring all Nigerians together. All to right. Work together. Okay. So okay. Yeah. You have to move forward. Mm. Uh, all right. Thank you very much, Dr. John Ekundaya. We have to leave it here with you. Thank yeah, you right. so it, much. It's right. Though. Respect mm. begins respect. Mm. Yes. If it's been considered to us, choose whoever you want from the South. And we have done it. Mm. The most objective thing is to allow them to take their own bit too. Yes. Who do you want from the North? That's the question we should be asking them. Mm. Yeah. Who do you want from the North? Who can give us votes in the South? We got it. We got him already. It's for them to now decide. In our own estimation, if you want to vote for one from the North, too, this is the man we think we can choose. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think we should leave it at that. Whatever they, they pick him from. Because it's a division of labor. Mm -hmm. The pastor said, you wake me up in the night, in the afternoon, to say I should pray for a good leader. You come to my house, you intrude in my personal... personal now your own turn to go and do your own bit to get people. You don't want to get. You will not come to church <laughs> because I've, I've, played, I've played. I've talked to God, <laughs> and God said I should tell you to go and get PVC. You don't want to get PVC. I will you not come that, to church. I will not that, that, that's why you don't go. Don't go. I will not tell you. But, but, but that's why you said. But you said he's your pastor, that, that, and that, he has been telling you things from God. That's why. But he has been telling you things from God. Even if pastors, when it now comes to election, you now don't want to believe it. If the pastors tell you to, you have to. Is we it told you yesterday. You have to show that it is. It is. You have to show that you have to show that it is. It is. It is. You have to show that you have to show that show that you can prove it in the Bible. That, that why is the constitutional issue. That's why. That's why Paul said. That's why Paul said. That's why Paul said. Don't we or oh, an angel uh -huh. tell you what we have not taught you? Uh -huh. That person should be a cause. Uh -huh. So I'm that's what he says. That's why you on this. That's the fact that you. All right, Raza, the good place to leave you here. Raza, you look up, but thank. Thank you so it's much for coming. With you. Thank, you. Thank you very much for coming, really. I, I think we have to pay tights to Uncle Sam. <laughs> if the church like he's going to open. <laughs> and we thank uh, Dr. John Ekundaya for uh, joining us as well on the discussion earlier on. And with just uh, seven, less than 72 hours, uh, we will get to know who all the political parties are making their running mates in the next election. And I believe... That will put all of the various permutations to rest when we begin to see the names of the people actually who have been submitted to INEC.